Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. I wanna give you seven different reasons why I think this SD card holder, made by sdcardholder.com, is better than this number one bestseller on B&H Photo, the Pelican um, SD card holder. All right, the first reason is pretty obvious. <laughs> the SD card holder, the yellow one, is a lot smaller, so if you're really limited on bag space and your camera bag, uh, it's a, a pretty much a no-brainer. The second reason is speed of access. Obviously, it takes a lot less time getting it out of this one. Third reason, which is pretty obvious, is the yellow one fits in your jean pockets a lot easier than the Pelican, which is, uh, you can fit it in your jean pockets, but when you go to sit down or do other things, it might not be as comfortable. The next reason is not splitting your SD cards in half. This one, you just pull out with your thumb and you push back in. Um, as you can see, they're not coming out at all. So you have to actually push down with your thumb to get them out. Whereas with the Pelican case, it has a foam insert and on the top you can see where it has a little space to where you can take your fingernail basically and dig it out of the foam. And when you do that, you can actually split the card in half like I'm doing right now. Um, you can see that it's splitting the SD card in half because I've done this so many times with the Pelican. The fifth reason is the yellow one cost uh, less than half the price as the Pelican. The sixth reason is you can buy these in different colors. So you could have yellow for empty cards and you could have blue for full cards. And the seventh reason is it's the same size as a credit card. So you can actually fit this into your wallet if you needed to. So I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. This case is almost bomb proof and I want it to be like, be able to withstand anything. So let's run it over both of these with the car. So I'm gonna put this card in just to show you that it works. I'm just gonna shoot off a burst. All right, we know it works. So let's go ahead and put it into the Pelican first. I guess in the middle. Close it. Put it under the tire. And let's go ahead and run it over. Let's take a look. It opens. It wasn't sitting in there, but let's go ahead and put it into the camera. And does it work? Yep, still works. All right, now we're gonna put this SD card in here and do the same thing. Now, these SD cards, what I've learned over the years, are quite durable by themselves. They can get wet and they can uh, get crushed and they keeps working, but I've never tried it doing this before. Let's give it a go. All right, <laughs> let's see what we got. The card still looks in good shape. Uh, let's go ahead and put it into the camera. This way. Does it take pictures? Yeah, it does. And does it play back? Yes, it does. And I can even go back to where I was before. So. That's not bad. All right, since you can see the uh, hose in the bucket in the water, you know what's coming next. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this in. I've never tried this before to get a card wet. It looks totally dry now. Let's go ahead and put it underwater. And as you can see, it floats. And I could submerge it, keep it underwater for a few seconds. I don't see any bubbles coming out of it. And let's go ahead and dry off the exterior so I don't Make sure that there is no water going inside the case. Open it up. Oh, there is water. I don't know where that came from. I was pretty sure I dried the whole thing off. Maybe I wasn't very thorough. Huh. But there's actually water in there. Interesting. So, 
I'm, it looks really dry, so I'm not even going to test that the card works. I'm going to assume that it works from the last test of running it over with the car. So now, is the next question is what happens when you put it in here? Obviously, <laughs> the card's going to get totally wet. And to make matters worse, this is the split card, as you can see right here. If I get my fingernail under it, you can see that this is the split card. So it's actually going to allow water into it. See right there? So let's go ahead and put it in. Obviously the whole thing is going to get wet. And just, uh, as you can see, it sinks. And uh, let's go give it a try. <clears throat> now I've only kept it in there for a few seconds, but I didn't see any bubbles or anything. Make sure the contacts are dry before I put it back into the camera. All right, moment of truth. Oh, it's not writing. Oh, there it goes. And uh, playback. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. So there you have it. Do you really need to have a waterproof, well, it's not really waterproof anymore since I probably ran it over with the car or a run it over with the car kind of case. Or can you get by with something nice and small and lightweight because the SD cards themselves are so durable. So I'll put a link to this below, and that's actually how I found this. Every once in a while, I go into my B&H affiliate sales, kind of list all the things that people are buying off of my links. So if there's a link below this video on YouTube, or it's on my website, and you go, it takes you to B&H, I get a small kickback, and it shows a list of everything that people are buying. I saw this and I was like, what is this thing? So I looked it up, and I was like, oh, I'll get it in the next time uh, to test it out. And I do like it better. And the number one reason is if like you buy a very expensive SD card, like a $120, 64 gig card or something like that, it's really fast. And all of a sudden you're using it in this Pelican case and you notice that you're starting to split your cards in half. It's kind of disturbing. So I like this one a little bit better because it just, it, your, your thumb just pulls it right out. And it's a lot, a lot uh, better feeling than splitting them in half. That's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.